because I refuse to believe that this was made by a competent human being or a guy whose mind is right, right? Because whoever wrote this... <laughs> Hey yo, what it do? My name is George something, the world heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. And I've been doing some scrolling around social media and I found this interesting post. It's very long, so bear with me. I've skimmed through the post, I've read some parts, I didn't read the whole thing yet. I'm saving it for this video, and some of the parts in this post are so fucking asinine. I don't know, whoever wrote this, was he or she on drugs or something? This has to be a meme. This has to be a satire post. I refuse to believe that this was made by a competent human being. Before we dive right into this shit, I just wanna tell everyone to go ahead and join the Hood Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99, it helps the channel, and it helps the cause, all right? Or if you don't wanna join though, there are options below, super stickers, super thanks, you know the drill, super stickers, super thanks, it helps the channel either way, or if you don't wanna do all of that, then you can just go right ahead and comment, like, or whatever. Just give us some engagement on this channel, all right? Because the more engagement, the more YouTube pushes us through the algorithm. Now, on to the video. Many wrestlers like AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and CM Punk have recently been sporting the most muscle-bound physiques of their careers. And it's offensive to see what the toxic WWE culture of working out has done to some of our former favorite wrestlers. What the fuck? Why are you bashing them for having muscle? What the fuck? Like, they are wrestlers. They're supposed to look like wrestlers. They shouldn't look like your average Joe in the street. You should commend them for actually having you know, the effort to actually look decent. They don't need to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Ronnie Coleman. They don't need to look like that, all right? Just some muscle, just so they can look athletic. That's fine. That's already fine. That's all good in the hood. They don't need to look like bodybuilders. I mean, and why? How is this toxic? Instead of caring about the number of moves a wrestler can do, like us, educated fans care about educated like you mean the marks the smarks no offense but you people are idiots wwe casuals only care about how many muscles someone has not really the casual fans give a shit about wrestlers who look like wrestlers who act like wrestlers and feel like wrestlers all right that's what we casual fans give a shit about right we want to see tv stars we want to see people with character wrestlers with character why should i get behind him why should i root for this guy why should i hate this guy and this has led to wwe forcing its talent to work out and take care of their bodies what the fuck is wrong with working out and taking care of their bodies if anything that's healthy working out Lifting weights, going to the gym, that's healthy. Taking care of their bodies, diet, meal plan, supplements, protein shakes, pumping iron, having these guns. Why are you bashing them for actually taking care of their bodies, all right? Disgusting. How is this disgusting? How is working out and taking care of your physical bodies disgusting? Please tell me. I want to know why. Have you ever worked out before? Yes. And it feels good. Try it sometimes, right? Go to your local gym. You don't have to go to a gold's gym or an expensive commercial gym. There are gyms out there, very cheap, you know, daily pass. You don't have to have a gym membership. Just the daily pass will do. There are these things called weights. You lift them, right? Try it sometimes. It, it actually helps with the mental 
uh, health. Have you ever worked out before? I haven't. Alright guys, that's the end of this fucking video. I rest my case. Is that right there? After reading that, you know what? I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this video. It, it, it's over now. I don't have to read any more of this crap. I'm imagining whoever wrote this. He fucking looks like that, you know, uh, avocado person. You know, the guy who eats a lot. Nikocado, avocado, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know. Like, I can't. This has to be sarcasm. This has to be a sarcastic post. I haven't. But I walk by the gym beside the convenience store where I buy my monster and Doritos and saw the people there, it looks terrible. I'm imagining what this person looks like and you're drinking monster for what? You're drinking an energy drink for what? You're not even doing anything athletic. Leave the energy drinks for us. For the people who go to the gym, for the people who actually do athletic stuff. People are covered in sweat, which is healthy, right? Sweating is actually healthy. I think I read that somewhere. Science, all right? Read a book. Do some fucking research. They're lifting heavy things just to put them right back down again. Are they stupid? Listen, my friend, whoever the fuck you are, you are the stupid one here. You have no idea what goes in the gym, what goes in the muscle. Lifting things and then putting it down, right? That's called the, uh, I forgot what it's called, the eccentric, you know, in the flexing. You, you go back down, that's the stretch, and then you lift it up, that's the contraction. Why am I talking about this? I'm not a fitness expert. I'm guessing this person right here hasn't worked out a fucking day in their life. Do some jogging. Do some jumping jacks. How about do some fucking push-ups? Get your ass down and give me 25. And there are tons of TVs and not a single one is showing bangers from Japan or Mexico. I, I, I don't get this. Who would want to spend time in a hellhole like that? I would. The gym is heaven for me. It's like a second home. It's like a place where I can put down my stresses, you know, all my problems and just go in, have fun, lift weights, feel the pump, feel the contraction. You know, the gym, it's like a, you know, it's home, right? Pictured below is, whether you want to admit it or not, what the ideal body for peak pro wrestling performance looks like. I can guarantee you'll never see a body like this in the gym. Hashtag gyms are for jerks. Guess I'm a fucking jerk. AEW wins again. I rest my case. This guy is an AEW fan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where's my fucking bell? Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with these AEW fans? And without further ado, let's take a look at what a peak pro wrestling body. Alright, let's. What the fuck? What is this shit? In this guy's mind, for him, this is the peak of a wrestling body. Wow, this is peak right here. Guess I gotta give up, you know, my gym membership, stop drinking these protein shakes, eat like shit, and never work out again. Because apparently to this guy, this right here is peak fitness. Holy shit, whatever I'm doing at the gym, it's apparently wrong. This is the way to go. This right here is peak 
fitness. This right here is a peak physique. This right here is better than Arnold Schwarzenegger. He should be at Mr. Olympia, not Sebum and all these other Olympians. This right here is peak. Holy shit! This has to be a joke. This entire shit has to be a joke. Because I refuse to believe that this was made by a competent human being. Or a guy whose mind is right, alright? Because whoever wrote this... Um, even though you have shit genetics, you can actually build a decent looking physique, actually better than this crap, like whatever I'm seeing right now, you can build a better physique, right? All you gotta do is uh, consistency, a workout plan, a diet plan, supplement plans, and there you go. To be honest, I have shit genetics, and you know... I don't think I'm big enough, right? I, I, I think I'm decent. A bit decent. I have huge arms, so good enough, you know, close enough. Anyway, what do you all think about this post? Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Looks matter in professional wrestling. Whether you want to admit it or not, it does matter. Because this is a TV show about fighting. You need to look like a pro wrestler. Not some bum off the street. Not everyone can be a basketball player. Not everyone can be a football player. Not everyone can be in movies. Not everyone can be in TV shows. But apparently, to this guy, whoever posted this, to this guy, anyone can be a pro wrestler. It doesn't matter if you look like shit physically. All you gotta do is do Canadian Destroyers flips and kicks and there you go you are a pro wrestler now this post is what's wrong with modern pro wrestling these marks they are out of their fucking minds jesus like what the fuck even is this shit who is this guy is he a wrestler or whatever i don't get it is he a staff what is he is he a... because i don't see a pro wrestler here this is not a pro wrestler anyway what are your thoughts on all of this this post right here. I know it's a long video, but I had to. I had to make a response. I had to dissect this post because it's stupid as fuck. It goes to show that these smarts, they don't know anything about pro wrestling. And that would be all. Join the Hood Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99. If you want to donate to the Hood Gang Network though, then super stickers, super thanks. I need someone to fund my protein shake addiction. <laughs> it ain't nothing if it's from George something. I, the YWC World Heavyweight Champion, has got a head out.